Hello, today I wanted to talk about a specific ratio that we're going to deal with called speed and what speed is and how we can calculate speed and what we need to figure out what the speed of something is. When you think of speed, you think of how fast is something traveling? Well, speed is related to a couple things. It's related to the distance. It's also related to the time. So the faster you travel the distance, or the less time it takes you to cover the distance, the faster you go, or the more distance you travel in that amount of time, the faster you're going. So it's really a ratio comparing distance and time, and we can write that as a fraction or call it distance over time would be your speed. So in order to calculate speed, we need two things. We need the distance traveled and the time it took to go that distance. So I have an example here. So that was the 100 meter dash, and he finished in 9.58 seconds. So we know the distance that he traveled and the time it took to travel. So we can calculate Hussein Bolt's speed or his average speed. So if we replace these, the distance with 100 meters and the time with 9.58 five, eight seconds, should be able to find the speed. But speed is usually written as a unit rate or compared to one unit or one second or miles per one hour. It's usually not written as this type of ratio where it says 100 to 9.58 seconds. That does tell us the speed, but it's usually written as a unit rate where we want to know how many meters can he travel in one second. So to find that out, you could set up an equivalent ratio and divide both by 9.58, so divide by 9.58, that would give you one second and a certain amount of meters per one second. So I have done the calculation here, 100 meters divided by 9.58 seconds is 10.43 meters in one second. or 10.43 meters per second. I also have a graph here to show us the distance over time. Oh, that's too many. So we can see if the vertical axis or the Y axis is your distance traveled in meters and this horizontal axis or the x-axis is the time in seconds that passes. At zero, you haven't traveled any distance because the race hasn't started, but once it starts, two seconds in, you're already, I guess this would be one second, you're about 10, two seconds in, you're already 20 meters in, and then about four seconds in, you're about 40 meters in. So if you keep that pace, should finish the race, it looks like just under the 10 second mark. So that is a graph of our speed that we calculated given the distance and the time.